is an instructional video for how to add smoke fluid to the fanless smoke generator in your N-Scale Big Boy. Your model came with a plastic pipette for this purpose, and we recommend that you keep a paper cloth handy just in case there's a spill or an overflow. By the way, you can rub gently on the model if some smoke fluid gets on the shell, and that'll clean it right up. We recommend that you use a lightweight smoke fluids such as Marklin's product number 02421 here. Do not use the smoke fluid sold on the BLI website for HO scale models as that will not work in your N scale big boy. The way to add smoke fluid is to grasp the bulb of the plastic pipette and squeeze and then while it's held tight insert the stem into the smoke fluid and release the bulb. And that should get a good amount into your smoke fluid applicator. This smoke generator can hold up to 60 drops in the big boy, and that will last about four minutes, uh, give you four minutes of continuous smoke. So the first method is to hold the tip of the plastic pipette over the smoke generator. You can add smoke fluid into either stack and if the smoke generator is hot or warm do not touch the tip of the plastic pipette onto it or it will melt the plastic. So what you want to do is hold the pipette just above the stack and slowly add one drop at a time and again uh, 60 drops would be a full smoke generator on this model. If something were to happen where it stops taking the drops or it starts to overflow a little bit, then you can just simply dab the center of the stack with a paper cloth and that'll clear that up. Or you can blow very gently down the stack. Uh, you don't want to give a quick forceful puff of air down the stack or it can flare out onto the boiler of your model. So just continue to add up to 60 drops to a completely empty smoke fluid reservoir and when you're done dab it with the paper cloth and or blow down to broke up to break up any smoke fluid bubbles another method if you're absolutely certain that the smoke generator is cool do not do this while it's warm or hot but you can touch the tip of the plastic pipette onto the stem in the center of the smokestack and make sure it's at an angle like this. You don't want to go straight down, but if the pipette's at an angle and you're touching the stem in the center of the smokestack, you can squeeze gently and slowly add the smoke fluid that way and it should travel down the stem into the smoke fluid reservoir. And at this point, we'll take the locomotive to the rails and show you how it works. So here we have the end scale big boy on the rails. We've just added smoke fluid. And I'm going to mute the locomotive with F8. And then I'm going to press F7 to start the smoke unit. Uh, it came on pretty much right away here, but sometimes it can take 10 to 15 seconds before smoke is produced. You can press F7 again to turn it off. Also, it will automatically shut off after a predetermined time that is set via CV218. So CV218 is going to give you uh, two seconds for every value that you put in there. For example, if you set 218 equals 10, you'll get 20 seconds of smoke on. If you set 218 equals 40, you'll get 80 seconds of smoke on before it automatically shuts off. The locomotive also has an on-off switch, a physical switch located under the cab on the fireman's side. On is towards the front of the locomotive and off is towards the tender. And so if you want to ensure that the smoke never comes on, you can use the switch just like that.